Hello all, welcome to Splunk community for MLTK algorithms GitHub demo. Before proceeding with the demo, let me give you a brief introduction on this initiative. What is a GitHub? GitHub is a web-based repository and cloud-based service for online code collaboration. It's a version control system which lets you and others work together on projects from anywhere. As you can see from here, GitHub users can push and pull code directly from the repo. What are we building? Splunk GitHub for Machine Learning Toolkit is an open source initiative to encourage building a community around sharing and reusing machine learning algorithms. It helps new and existing users of Machine Learning Toolkit to see and share examples, raise issues as necessary, and learn about new machine learning algorithms from Splunk open source community. Custom algorithms should be added by adhering to ML SPL API. These APIs are a thin wrapper around machine learning estimators provided by libraries such as scikit-learn, stats model, and scipy. Who will benefit from this initiative? Existing or new users of the MLTK will have access to more algorithms powering new and valuable use cases in Splunk. Customers looking for solutions that are outside of MLTK immediate 30 odd algorithms. Consumers of the MLSPL API will have opportunities of sharing their custom algorithms. Now let's move on to the demo. The first thing which you'll notice on the GitHub page is readme file which you gives you instructions on dependencies, basic examples to add algorithm, deployment, development, running test, raising bugs and issues. Now let's see how we can add and use algorithms in GitHub in detail. Fork the code in your environment and go to source, bin, algos contrib to create a new algorithm as you can see here. After writing down the algorithm, we need to register it by adding a stanza in algos.conf under source default algos.conf. As stated in the deployment section of the readme file, it is an app itself and you can either build it using docs or manually copy it. Check the instruction on readme file before adding it as an app in your Splunk environment. Let us see an example. For demo purpose, I am taking an example from scikit regression algorithm that is orthogonal matching pursuit. Let me show how it works in Splunk. So I have installed the app in Splunk as you can see from here. Once it is installed, you have the, all the algorithms available in the Splunk and now I can run the query. So I run the orthogonal matching pursuit which is a linear regression algorithm and I can see that I have got the predicted algorithm. The, yeah, so we do have detailed information about the, uh, in, the in our documentation which you can see it from here. We do have an MLSPL API documentation. Also check out the Conf 2017 presentation on MLSPA extensibility API. Thank you and keep sharing.